Chris Penny from Kid Vision Pre-K, and we're here today to find out about landscape architecture. And so please introduce yourselves. Great, it's good to be here. Um, my name is Rebecca Bradley, and I'm one of the founders of Cadence, Landscape Architects. And I'm Gage Couch, the other founder of Cadence. And some of our projects involve residences, hotels, commercial projects. We even do public parks and open spaces. So everything you see outside that is put together with plants, that's what you do is design that. Exactly. So not only the plants, but the hardscape and pools and shade structures and, you know, all kinds of different elements. So we look at, you know, the outside as outdoor rooms, uh, just like an architect would look at a building with inside rooms. So we designed with that approach and that sense of style in, in mind. How did you get into landscape architecture? I grew up taking ballet and per doing performing arts and I knew I wanted to do something creative as a professional and I also loved the outdoors and landscape architecture kind of mixes both of those things because as a landscape architect you're creating spaces for people to have experiences and to move around the outdoors. I was always very hands-on with and building things growing up. I spent a lot of time outside. I have a passion for being outdoors. I think the combination of being outside nature and plants combined with my love of crafting things is where it brought me to today. And what does your typical day look like? Any given day we could be working on site with someone um, that's installing one of our projects. So we could be outdoors. We could be working at the computer, um, designing things or editing some of our designs on the telephone, doing emails, coordinating with the team of people that it takes to put these projects together. Do you go out a lot and inspect your your projects as they're being constructed? Yeah, we do. We spend a lot of time um, on site. That's called construction administration. And um, we are involved very early. We go out on site to see, uh, even before we start to design, the opportunities and the constraints, what's possible out there in combination with what the client sees as their vision for the property. Um, and then throughout the process, we're constantly checking in on the site and testing that our design works. I would love to learn how the project starts. So could we please see the design process? Of course. Yes, we'd love to share that with you. Great. This is the first part of landscape architecture, and that's the design. That's correct. Okay, can you tell us about that? Sure, so there's a design process that we follow as landscape architects, similar to many of the other professional um, designers. So the first thing you do is you take a look at the existing conditions of the site. So right now we're looking at an existing survey or site plan of, of this particular home. Of um, this home? Yes, the one, the one we're at right now. Yeah. Great. Yeah, so um, what's important for us to understand is we first as we're taking a look at the site, we understand where the building is located, right? And we want to understand where the doors and windows are on the home so we can think about circulation and we can think about views from windows and doors to the outside. This helps us decide where different elements of the garden and the outdoor living environment um, will all go. We also talk with the clients and try to understand what do they really want um, to see in their yard and what are some things that are important to them. For this particular cl uh, client, privacy was very important. Their backyard is close to the homes that are on the back of their yard and then they have a huge, two actually, huge existing oak trees on the site and we want to make sure to save those oak trees and make sure that the design works around that. Um, what was also important is they had an existing small pool and they wanted to get rid of that and they wanted to have a much larger pool. So we have to look and see where's a good spot with the sun orientation that they'll have some good sun on the pool. This particular client is from Ohio and fire pit and sitting around in the evening with their family on the cooler nights in Florida was important for them and they wanted another big tree in their front yard so that the children could have a big swing to sit in. So this is kind of how it starts. We just kind of diagram, we look and try to figure out placement of things. Um, and this is the end of kind of the, the diagramming and site analysis. And then once you have the general plan, 
Do you pick materials from that? We do. So we're thinking about materials from the very beginning as well. So as we're designing the space, you know, we might start thinking about what kind of marble can go on the pool deck. Sometimes we'll also use um, artificial turf when the shade is too much. How do you choose what plants go in? From the very beginning, we start to develop a plant palette with the client based on their sensitivities and their aesthetics. We're very much into Florida native plants, so that means plants that are indigenous to the region that we're in so that they're more drought tolerant, more pest resistant. They withstand hurricanes here in South Florida. We'll put together a list and some pictures and start to show them what it looks like now, what it looks like when it grows in, but we also like to show some of the ecological benefits of the plants, such as birds, butterflies, bees, pollinators, and things like that. So you bring in a whole ecosystem. We absolutely do. And it's really neat to see the life that it brings and also the benefits that it brings with the animals as well. I would love to see a project in construction. Yeah, we'd love to take you. We've got something um, happening a few streets over, so we'll take you over there and check it out. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. I would love to go. Let's go. Now we're at an actual construction site and we can see what's happening. Can you explain it? Absolutely. So today we've got the crew here moving some dirt around to fill in this space and putting in some block walls around the perimeter to actually raise the elevation of the entire yard. That way it'll be nice and flat and have some space for the kids to play in. There's a lot of base work to do before you get to the actual planting. There is a lot of base work. The demo and the uh, actual prepping of the site is really important as well. Just as important as putting in the final plants as well. And we're actually going to be moving this big palm tree that you see right here as well. And we're bringing in a bigger shade tree so that it'll cast some shade on the lawn and allow the kids to have some uh, shade when they're playing out here. You must need some heavy equipment to do, do that. We do. We do. And we've got some here today to do that. Wow, it's a lot of work, the architecture and putting it all together and then the reality of making it really happen. It is. Most of the time these projects take anywhere from three to four months at a minimum up to uh, several years depending on how big the project is for some of the bigger commercial ones. I never knew so much took place. Yes. Thank you very much for teaching us about landscape architecture. We learn so much, it's a very interesting profession and I hope that we inspire young children to follow your path. We hope so too. Thanks for having us. We had a great time. Ah, me too. Thank you. Thank you.